back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Um, big welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers as always. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your presence and thank you to everybody who has dropped comments below my videos this month um, for your chance to win a free reading. I will be drawing a name um, this week and I'm still waiting to hear back from one of my most recent winners. So be sure to check your notifications as well if you have dropped me comments recently. Um, for all of the new people who are subscribed to the channel, please be sure to drop your comment as well. I would love to have a chance to read for you um, and I do offer a chance for my subscribers to win a free tarot reading from me just by leaving your comments below in support of each other in support of me um, it's just my way of giving back so be sure to drop your comment and be sure to hit your notification bell so that if you're chosen the winner I will be able to notify you and get the ball rolling if you have stumbled across this channel for the very first time I do pick a card readings here um, and today's Pick a card reading is all about someone in no contact. So it could be a soulmate in separation, a no contact love message from the person on your mind. What are their current feelings and secret thoughts? We do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the red flower and the star. Pile number two with the white flower and the sun. And pile number three with the pink flower and the lovers. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting today from Spirit. And my timestamps are listed below. Um, I'm going to jump right into pile number one. So pull up a chair, get cozy. We're all going to have a little chat when we gather around my table. And we're all friends when we gather around this table. So get cozy, um, get comfortable. We're going to have a little chat today. And again, today's tarot reading is all about no contact love message from the person on your mind. So what are they thinking? What are they feeling um, in regards to this connection about you? So three piles to choose from and my timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You were drawn to the red flower or to the star card. And this is your reading. A no contact love message from the person on your mind. What are their current thoughts? What are their current feelings about you? Um, this star energy, there could be Aquarius in your chart or perhaps you're very far away because I'm just feeling the sense of... of being separated um, and this is a no contact love reading so that's not really surprising but just as a geographical separation that could be large or could be um could even um reference time as well so a long distance apart or even physically very far apart from each other um the star always reminds me of wishing longing and if you look closely at her hands she's got these two sort of circular patterns on her hands it looks like the stigmata so it does remind me of the hangman energy and about um feeling sort of suspended like there's nothing we can do about it or feeling like a little bit of a victim um when it comes to the connection and how everything has evolved and everything how everything has evolved to today in the 3d because there's a sense of like i wish i could have this but it feels like it's beyond my grasp in some way so let's take a look here A love message from the person on your mind, their current thoughts and secret feelings about you. No contact love message, please, for pile number one. We have the Empress and we have the King of Wands. This person could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, and the Empress is definitely speaking about the Divine Feminine and everything beautiful about her. You know, she is sort of... Um, if the yin yang represents polar opposites, she's sort of the opposite of the high priestess, whereas she's very um, open and compassionate and, and lovely and the high priestess is more secretive and she kind of holds things closer to her chest. The empress is everything beautiful about the divine feminine. It's it's all of the beautiful abundance. It's, a, it's beauty paramount when it comes to you. And with the king of wands, it's a lot of focus that this person has upon you, even in the disconnect. It's like they, you can see she's holding up this shield here as well. And so it's like they don't want to perhaps create any sort of havoc in your life, which which might indicate that you are unavailable in some way. And so they feel like you're untouchable. But that doesn't seem to stop their desire because that King of Wands is very focused upon, upon what he wants. And I just got this impression about taking careful calculated steps, knowing that they have to take careful calculated steps when it comes to their attraction for you. Perhaps because of their own position or because of your position. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And just in a very base sort of physical, in a physical sense, they find you exceptionally attractive. So you don't have to be the Divine Feminine. If you can be the Divine Masculine as well, it has everything to do with energy and nothing to do with gender. But it's all about the physical, the physical attributes that you have acquired or that you've grown into. 
It also gives, again, there's an impression about position, putting us up on a pedestal and not being able to access that person on that pedestal as well. So they really think about that, not being able to access you because of all the complications, because of all the obstacles. Back of the deck is the, oh, we have the Nine of Cups. And what's interesting is that the Seven of Wands, which is really talking about the determination that they need to show to power through everything in this situation, um, it's being blanketed between the practical and the heart. It's like they want you so much. The Nine of Cups is a wishing, a longing, somebody that is hoping for me, um, that feels like it's it's hard to, to achieve because perhaps we're in a karmic loop or karmic relationships are at play here. And they really wonder if you feel the same way. They wonder if there's love coming from your heart space. You could be a water sign. There's also, again, Aquarius, of course. But um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, of course, you don't have to be. But there's an inability to commit from one of you in this connection. It could be both of you. But there's this inability to commit. And that's really wreaking havoc on the possibility that this person has when it comes to creating change. They also really wonder if you're happy. If you're happy overall. Or if you, like them, feel like you have to take very careful, calculated steps as well. Because there's a lot of regrets that this person holds when it comes to this connection. And perhaps even the confusion that this, that the feelings between you were left. It's like everything was left um, unfinished or messy in some way. Loose ends. Because they have a lot of regret when it comes to the choices that they made. In the past, especially in this connection, I do also feel like for someone watching, and this is not going to be a message for everyone, but for someone watching, the, the Divine Feminine could already be in a new connection. This person could be in a new connection. So there's this decision to make. It's like a moral choice that they feel like they have to make when it comes to you. Very strong fire element with this person. Also Libra energy. And for the Divine Masculine here, if they are a fire sign or perhaps a Libra energy, they may be involved. They may have worked with you in the past or gone to school with you in the past because there's an institution that's involved. But this institution could also be just a part of their experience. It could be the institution of marriage, for instance. So please take that as it resonates. Because that's part of the obstacle here. Poor decisions, poor choices, a moral dilemma. And I do feel like this person really also wants to communicate that they are keeping tabs on you. Like there's a there's a sense of them having grown and evolved and matured, but they're still very much um, focused on this connection, especially from the past perspective. It's like they think about you when you were younger. So that could really indicate a lot of years have gone by because they've evolved, but they're, it's like when it comes to you, nothing's really changed. And they're very curious about your perspective on the whole situation. They're very curious about you in general and what you're doing and what you're up to. Yeah, there's the curiosity of the Page of Wands. Because in a perfect world, they would get the chance to explore this connection. But it feels like wishful thinking for them because they feel like, again, they feel like you could be stuck in some sort of karmic relationship. They definitely feel like they are stuck with poor decisions and with a moral dilemma of their own. And so they understand that they are very much aware that that communication could solve a lot of the confusion and could really light, lighten their own emotional load. But they're also really, they're really kind of focused on the risk. There's the fool, the five of wands because of competition. Um, I will say that they still get very jealous when it comes to you. Even if they don't feel like they should, they do get very jealous. And again, these are, this is the type, it's like their emotions towards you from the past have not adapted the way that or evolved the way that they have because I feel like they were very jealous about you in the past as well because they've made a definite habit out of wanting you and it feels very exhausting to be honest the amount of energy they put towards this curiosity that wants to be filled we have the camel when I think of the camel I do think of thirst um, I think about somebody who, and endurance, so a longevity, again, whether a space of time or a space of, of ge you know, geographical, locational space, um, there's thirst and there's longevity and endurance. And we have the earthworm and we have the lamb. The lamb makes me think of innocence, so you may not have even entered into a really 
fiery connection with this person, which is why they're still very curious. And that kind of puts you in this fantasy realm when it comes to fulfilling that curiosity here. And I feel like there's absolutely no contact because they keep talking about just going off of vibration and they almost feel like they can feel your heart space. And sometimes that makes them feel foolish, makes them feel like they're crazy, but they almost feel like they can feel your heart space because they can't talk to you and they can't see you. It's like sometimes they try to, to keep tabs on you, but they're not able to actually meet up with you in some way. And there's a toiling energy when it comes to the earthworm. It spends its life under the surface, toiling away and often underappreciated by everyone else. And without the earthworm, we would cease to exist. It wouldn't, we wouldn't have aeration in the soil. And so there's just such an angst. It's like feeling over... It's like feeling frustrated with themselves because they didn't appreciate the opportunity that was sitting right in front of them or feeling just very underappreciated or not noticed. Wondering if you still feel the same way and not feeling noticed in the present. Back of the deck is the bee. And the honeybee is a very optimistic energy for me. It always makes me feel like there could be a positive results that are waiting for us. But I also, I am also not ignoring the fact that the honeybee works so hard its entire life. You know, it works so hard for the good of the hive. So this person may feel like they're in an environment where they have to, um, where they have to invest a lot of their energy because they feel like it will benefit other people. And that definitely makes me feel, or makes me think about children. What are their current feelings and secret thoughts, please? We have here, I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting and wishing that they could date. And it feels so innocent even though it feels like you have both evolved and grown. And then we have palm tree of stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And it came in reversed because they know that that's the risk associated with their stability, with their choices, their positions that they've entered into willingly, your positions as well. And so there's this, this navigation or this, it almost feels like a war going on inside of them with this conversation between their head and their heart. And that's where the disconnect sort of lies. And so the Page of Swords is supposed to gather all the information and then show the determination to power through the obstacles, but they're not sure if they can. They do wish that the two of you could have a conversation. They're interested in, in talking with you more. It says here, oh, waiting, for a, waiting for a new message, email or hovering. So they're wishing that perhaps you would reach out to them. They feel like it could be risky to reach out to you on their own. We have here perception beyond the veil of illusion because sometimes they feel crazy sometimes they wonder if they do if they're just sort of selling themselves short by holding on if you feel the same way and they just want some peace dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts when it comes to you because they feel kind of confused feeling lost confused and lonely and whatever environment they have invested in they don't feel like they don't feel completely fulfilled there not that they could, perhaps couldn't find fulfillment there, but they don't feel it in this moment here. It says reconnecting with your true nature. It says healing. And so when they feel sort of disarmed in their present realm, they want to go back to a time and place when there was so much potential. And that potential was filled with so much curiosity and so much attraction. And they want to recapture that with you. Let's get a couple of the message cards here. What about current feelings and secret thoughts, please, of pile number one? I knew the first moment I saw you that there was something special about you. And the lovers does indicate an instantaneous attraction, whether it's physical or not. It sometimes um, presents itself as a physical connection, and then it realizes itself as a deeper connection later on. I feel very stuck. The distance between us is killing me. So they are talking about a, a large distance between the two of you. And they don't know. It says, do you miss me the way that I miss you? Because I know that I didn't follow my heart. So they do wonder. Um, and even here, the show itself, I don't know how to tell you the truth. They don't know if, if you feel that same way. I did see I'm losing hope. And you are a goddess. And that is what started out your reading here. And I worry that this is all in my head is on the back of that deck. Whoops. Let's get some message cards here. What are their secret thoughts, please, for pile number one? I'm afraid that you won't like the person that I've become. Like I've evolved. I've changed. 
I spend a lot of time daydreaming about you. And third party interference. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. Do you want me to? And it says here reverse, I'm trying to figure myself out and you don't see it, but I think you're perfect. We also have, have you blocked me because they're trying to keep tabs on you, but they could be having a difficult time doing that. I am a glow with thoughts of you. And that's from a Sarah Harmer song. It really speaks about the past and nostalgia and how we have these beautiful rose colored memories and we don't even care if they're real or not because they fill us with so much hope and they fill us with so much focus towards something abundant. It's like we don't want to let go of that. Back of the deck says, have you forgotten me? And I feel like this that would really bother them to think that, that you had forgotten all about them. So let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. What is the very last thought that your person in no contact had about you? Whoops. Oh, almost lost it. It's in the, the Ace of Cups. Feeling very disappointed in loss of opportunity. Um, feeling kind of stressed out about the past and sort of opportunities from the past. They may have thought about reaching out to you to make some sort of contact as well, but they weren't sure if they would have the support waiting for them on the other side. They weren't sure if you'd be waiting there um, excited to hear from them or feeling like they were making complications appear in your life. So they're really... Um, putting themselves through a bit of a stressful contemplation when it comes to reaching out to you. In the bowl, we have kiss and friend. Oh, ace of pentacles. It's like we had the opportunity, but I didn't take a leap of faith with the fool energy because I was afraid of loss. There's the tooth hanging upside down. I was afraid of loss. It's like they just wish that they would have kissed you. And there's a sense of like one kiss would have changed everything. We have the letter S as well. I think of significant other, but those can also be initials. We do have the Empress with the purple. I think about evolution with the purple and somebody moving into almost like a queen's position. So there could be a motherhood. There could be sort of commitment in the divine feminine's life. And we have Kings and Queens, the little fairy tale book, Kings and Queens. All right, pile one, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates and I'm praying for you. Um, if it did resonate, please drop your comment below and make sure that you hit your notification bell so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free tarot reading with me. You can also check out my links for Etsy for personal reading if you feel called to and that link is below as well. But I hope you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the white flower or to the sun card and this is your reading. A no contact love message from the person on your mind. What are their secret feelings and current thoughts about you? The sun can really speak to me about Leo energy. So you could be a Leo or this person could be, but it also speaks about clarity. And so epiphanies could have hit this person since there's been no contact. Um, they have a full spectrum or a clear perspective about what this connection means to them or what you mean to them as well. It could also mean that they are looking for clarity too. So let's take a look and see what their current feelings and secret thoughts are about pile number two. It could also be that they're trying to remain optimistic. We have the hanged man. So I just got this impression with the white flower of, of hope coming in. So we have the hanged man. There's this impression about them feeling like they were working or waiting for this perfect opportunity before they acted. And that perfect opportunity never presented itself and they didn't have the courage. And so it's like it sort of resolved itself because they were so complacent that the whole situation just kind of solved itself. It's like they didn't get anywhere. You have the two of swords. And now they're recognizing that that's why they haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> Truly, it's like they have this, this strong sense of frustration almost with themselves a little bit. Because I feel like they were almost waiting for you to say something or for you to take the lead. And perhaps you were waiting for them to take the lead. And there was a, just a big, strong disconnect here. And they're worried about the perspective that they left the Divine Feminine with as well. You could be an air sign. You could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. But you also have um, Capricorn here. There's the Page of Swords with the Catnip and the Devil with the Blackberry. And they just gave me the impression of the seasoned pan for some reason with the cast iron pan. And there's this feeling about there have been a lot of changing of seasons and how they know exactly where they went wrong. There have been a changing of season. They know exactly where they went wrong and they still 
get almost a sense of intoxication when they think about you or when they think about the, the situation from the past, when they think about their attraction, it's still very, very strong in their, in their feelings. Um, because, and they could also be fueling some of this, this desire for you by watching you. There is a strong emphasis of wishing that you would make clearance for growth, even in the present with the six of pentacles, because they still don't want to, they still feel like there could be potential. They still feel like there could be potential here. And even all of these little pine cones, they're attached to all of these little letters. There's this aspect of wanting more communication as well. And having written you letters or having had conversations with you in their mind that they, they, that they never got to express to you or they wrote letters that they never sent about the potential. And these, this could have been an effort for them to clear you out of their cycle because they were trying to regain or recontrol or gain control over their perspective. Um, because they're still very much hung up on you. And they thought that it would be easier to kind of clear you out of their cycle. They really, really thought that if they just kind of starved themselves of this connection, that they would feel better. But the truth is, is that um, they, they don't know how to get out of this loop. They don't know how to get out of this attachment because that's what it feels like. It almost feels a bit obsessive. We have the two of cups and the temperance because they still would, in a perfect world, there could be room for a relationship still in the 3D. And they like to escape to that reality or they like to escape to that perspective sometimes to bring balance into their life or to bring a sense of peace into the life when they're feeling really frustrated, when they're feeling really dissatisfied with their current realm. They like to kind of fall back into to this memory of you, but it's also flooded with fantasy. And they do hope that there can be more potential in the future because they hope that there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel, that there's there's more potential in the future. With the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You may have just spent a really long time in the talking phase with this person. And there was no real action behind the talking phase. And it it, it could be because it was a friendship and it wasn't more than that. There was lots of opportunity, but again, we waited so long. We waited so long for perfect conditions when the perfect conditions never presented themselves. And so now we're just left with all of this unfinished business and all of these, the lack of answers and lack of clarity, and they're still trying to protect the connection. There's something about the innocence of the connection that they want to stand guard over. They realize they should have been way more forthcoming to you too. So they're sort of kicking themselves when it comes to that as well. It's like, I should have been more generous with you. I should have been more forthcoming with how I felt. And maybe we wouldn't be in this situation. But there is an emphasis on the divine feminine's position. For so, so for someone watching, they because they're watching you, they could be privy to something in your life that needs clearance in order for growth to happen in your connection which is why they know now is not the time and they have to be patient. There's the 10 of pentacles. So for someone watching, there could be a family unit in place. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. They have come to this realization in the 3d that you are their person or that you were their person or that this was the benchmark of their failure when it comes to the choices that they made in the past or not even the choices. I feel like it was just a delayed, they knew what they wanted and they knew that they had to execute it eventually but they just didn't execute it. And now they're still stuck in that state of limbo of like, I know how I feel. I know what I wish I could have, but now is not the time and I can't take action in this moment. Ooh, we have a lot going on. I don't know if I'll keep all of these, but we have the four of pentacles, the queen of wands, the five of cups, the queen of cups, the five of wands. They get still very sort of jealous when it comes to you and they have so much regret when it comes to not expressing how they felt because they were really leading from a place of insecurity. They were so scared to be rejected in the past or to not be accepted by you that they didn't realize that you were just waiting for them to say something and that your heart space was already invested. And so they're just, I feel like they have a revelation about your heart space or they think that they do now. And so they're just really conflicted with the truth of the situation that lies between the two of you. They do think about taking a risk and, and reaching out to you, I will say, because they're still very, very curious about where this path could have led. It's like we could have, should have, would have been in a very much, a very different place if we had just, if I just said something, if I was just a little bit more generous here. And now they're still holding space. 
despite the fact that there could be other relationships in place for you or for them, they're still holding on, they're still holding space. It may be getting a little bit tiring for them to be sort of sequestering their energy to every, every different angle. Energy goes to you, energy goes to their priorities, energy goes to their commitments, but they are still holding on. current feelings and secret thoughts of pile number two please we have let go sometimes it's best to let the universe work things out in divine timing we did start with the hanged man and we have here rekindle <laughs> and so they're stuck between this do we let go or do i rekindle i feel like this person really wants to rekindle but they know that now is not the time so they're stuck between should i release this and let it go or should i release whatever's holding me back and rekindle this connection. Every relationship has the magical moments that can be rekindled and they're very nostalgic when it comes to you. And there's something very protective about that, those memories. They don't want to let them go. They feel like that's untouchable in this moment because we have a bond, a love bond that grows stronger over time. So their feelings for you have only deepened. Love only made the heart grow stronger or fonder, so to speak, in this connection. Other current feelings and secret thoughts of pile number two, please. We have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, making new memories, learning from the past. Very nostalgic when it comes to you. They could have actual photos of you that they do kind of keep tabs on. Um, we also have here soulmates, soul contract, partnership agreement, and soul contract here. And we have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, shocking attack. And I do feel like when the epiphany did hit them, it did hit them pretty hard. Um, it's like a stinging energy as well. It's like, oh, well, that was might have been my person and maybe I really wasted an opportunity. They're, I feel like they're also afraid of creating havoc for other people. And their current feelings, please, and secret thoughts of pile number two. I'm not hiding the connection for the wrong, wrong reasons. I feel like that might be a typo about that. I'm hiding the connection for the wrong reasons. And I feel like they were hiding their feelings for you in the past for the wrong reasons. I've been sending you messages in the 5D. So they like to have conversations with you, even though they haven't had a conversation with you in a while. And the truth is, is that they feel really strong energy towards you. It says, I love you. And the Six of Cups definitely is a, a soul contract or soul commitment that sort of puts a lid on the love like the Queen of Cups, telepathically communicating with, with me. I'm going to take action, but I'm planning an approach. And they are very curious about what the potential could be, but I feel like there could be karmic relationships here and they're waiting for something to run its course, whether, whether it be on their end, whoops, or on your end, they're waiting for something to run its course. Because I want to, rec ooh, we have three. I want to reconcile with you. I regret walking away from you and I've been telepathically communicating with you. Back of the deck says, I do know more than you think. And I feel like it's because they're trying to, they're very curious about you. And I feel like they're trying to keep tabs on you as well. Let's get a couple more messages here. I'm watching your social media. Their current feelings and secret thoughts, please. I've never been the same since meeting you. Oh, you make me want to be my best. And I think that I've always loved you. This person is very nostalgic and sort of sweet when it comes to this connection. It feels almost innocent in nature. I believe our souls are very old friends. Let's get one more. But I'm afraid that I'm becoming a stranger to you. And I wish we could just run away together. Well, now I have to get one more because I can't leave it. I can't leave it in balance. I'm drowning in my desire for you. And the back of the deck says, you see right through me. I feel like they do wear their feelings on their sleeve. They may try really hard to wear a mask, but I feel like this person's really bad at it. Let's get a charm bowl, please. What was the very last thought the pile twos person had about them in the bowl? Very last thought they've had. Oops, missed it. We have the death energy coming out and the eight of pentacles. 
two of wands they're frustrated they were really thinking about what it would take to, to have something happen in your connection and they there's this idea of like I'm working on it it's like I'm working on it but they're not actually physically working on it they're working on the physical manifestation they're thinking about what they have to do um but they're kind of afraid to take that leap and they don't feel like now is an option at all anyway so they're kind of frustrated with the situation with the frustrating delays We have old fairy tales, which is interesting because pile one had a book come out as well. It was the King and Queen's book. We have A and A and V. We have a connection written in the stars. We have old fairy tales. So someone from your past, like old past and plus um, beyond that. So past life connection. We have Sagittarius. We do have, a. I think of little boys when I see the T-Rex and I think about someone who's so close yet so far away. I think of little short arms um, and I think of extinction. We have handmaids. So I think of children. We have a cupcake, someone who wishes that they could have their cake and eat it too. Angels watching over us. And we have a blank card. It's like our life is a canvas and creative accountability. We also have the crescent moon and the star. I think about the high priestess and the hope. So they're secretly still holding out some hope that there could be more in this connection. But they know that now is not the time. All right, pile two. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it did, please drop your comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so that I can enter you in and also notify you if you're chosen the winner. You can also check out my link below for Etsy for personal reading. But I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day. Hello pile number three, you were drawn to the pink flower or to the lover's card and this is your reading. Um, person in no contact from you at this moment, a no contact love message, what are their current feelings and secret thoughts about you? The lovers does indicate Gemini energy, so you could be a Gemini or this person could be, perhaps you both are, you don't have to be of course because the lovers is also about connection and want and desire and physical energy between the two of you and choice, moral, moral choice as well. So there's just such an attraction that this person feels and I feel like it's very mutual between the two of you. I feel like you guys could be polar opposites, maybe even different cultures, um, but that doesn't seem to taint the connection itself. Um, sometimes the lovers does indicate, again, a moral choice or a choice between parties. So that could be a part of the dynamics, the current dynamics between the two of you as well. So what are their current feelings and secret thoughts, please, of pile number three? feelings and secret thoughts of pile number three we have the ace of cups you know we start with the ace of cups when there's just so much desire for a fresh start and peace that comes from a fresh start you can see here the cup the communion the dove is bringing down the communion of communion of peace and then it, the cup is running over it's like i want to be able to express something to you to give me and you perhaps a sense of peace and perhaps me giving you this extra information could offer us a fresh new perspective or a new beginning because there was a lot that was left unsaid or undone between the two of you five of wands and what's interesting to me now is if you look here they're both plugging their ears they're both holding on to these wands that are crossed and there's this uh, um, feeling of like maybe you both can't commit right now maybe there's just maybe that's not even on the table to have this new fresh start but it's like they're plugging their ears because like i don't want to hear about the complications right now i just want to know how you feel about me it's like let's forget that we have attachments let's forget for a moment that there are any is anything in in the way of this connection just tell me how you feel and they get very jealous when they think about you with other people um even if they don't have that right that they do they get very jealous there's competition for you but the five of wands also talks about a certain amount of determination as well like a certain amount of determination that they want to express towards you we have the ten of cups because they want to provide some clarity They want to provide some clarity so that they can feel at peace and so that they feel like you can be at peace. But sometimes in the present realm, the Ten of Cups can represent um, things that are getting in the way of that clarity. So sometimes the Ten of Cups is a family. We have the Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like this person, they really want clarity. They know exactly how they feel about you. And I feel like, honestly, it's a very mutual energy, but they don't know that. Like, they don't trust in their own intuition. They're very, 
discerning or very logical in the way that they think about the connection and they really want more information from you. They really want more information to see if you're feeling the same way. Here's the page of pentacles. But they know that they're that there could be a risk involved with that. And I feel like, again, I feel like there are commitments here, either for you or for them, perhaps for both, because they know that this risk is going to come with a consequence. But they are also really kind of torn up by the unfinished business and the lack of clarity here between the two of you as well. Um, I don't feel like it's a closure situation. That's the issue, though, is that it's not necessarily a closure, closure situation um, because they, in a, a perfect world, they could have you. Like, there's a lot of desire here, especially a lot of physical unfinished business. It's like I never got a chance to even let you know how I felt in the physical sense. Like, even if I didn't have the courage to say this is how I felt, I was. I wish that I'd had the opportun opportunity to kind of show you with my body. <laughs> And they'll just, it's like, it feels like they'll just never know what that's like. And that really frustrates them. But the truth is, is that even though there's all this desire in the, in the physical sense, it highlights or it kind of, it distracts from the true nature of their feelings. They may feel only really comfortable expressing themselves physically with you. But the truth is, is that this is a very emotional person. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But the Divine Masculine here is being represented by this King of Cups. And how sometimes they feel like they have to turn their back on their emotion for you in order to get their jobs done, in order to fulfill responsibilities in their practical realm. We have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. And I just feel like they wish that there could be some type of sign from you. I feel like they were hoping for a sign from you in the past. And that desire hasn't stopped. They still have this hope that, you know, if somebody has to do the work, I wish it would be you. And that it doesn't have to be me. Because they've been holding on. Um, for some of you, I feel like they've been watching you. And I feel like the two of you did go to school together. Or perhaps you even grew up together or came of age in some way. Because they're like, I've been holding on since school days. Since we graduated is what I heard. Since we graduated, I've been holding on have you been holding on the divine feminine here could be the gemini because there's almost an intimidation i feel like this person in the past really thought that you were smarter than them and that not that it bothered them but it made them feel kind of insecure it's like they thought that you were a lot smarter maybe a little bit too good for them um and you intimidated them you still do you have the king of swords but they feel like now they could kind of match you <laughs> um, eye for eye when it comes to communication. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. And they know that they're not in a physical prison. Like this is a very logical person too. They know that they're not in a physical prison. But they do feel like they have to keep a guard up because um, of the consequences that could follow if they went down that rabbit hole. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Five of Swords. And I do feel like this person feels like they have a lot to be grateful for. So like, like logically, they know that, that perhaps they should be turning their back on how they truly feel. It's like logically it doesn't make sense to hold on to this. But they're like, it doesn't matter because the heart wants what the heart wants. And so this Nine of Cups makes me feel like this collector energy. It's like all of these beautiful cups sitting behind me and I'm, I'm being passive about what I want. But it's like, I really wish I could have this opportunity with you. It's like, I may not act upon it, at least not now. I may not be acting upon it. But the truth is, is that it would make me feel really kind of superior if I could have you by my side. But they're very conflicted. There's the five of swords and the four of swords. And they overthink and they get really, really worried about what would happen if they did go exploring with you. So they could have a lot of reason to be so worried. Again, with the ten of cups showing up twice, this could be a very mutual mirrored soul path for both of you actually you could both be in a very similar um, dynamic at home right now for instance or a very similar period of your life right now because they know that if they come towards you now there's no winner everybody kind of gets the short end of the stick and that's really conflicting them because ultimately they are prioritizing themselves first they're like i'll lose if i approach right now i also feel like they'll lose if i approach right now and everybody involved is going to lose too and so they're just frustrated. But what they don't understand is that that feeling of frustration, that internal conflict is trying to teach them something about their, about how deeply they actually want clarity and peace that comes along with it. I 
How do I currently feel, please? What are their current feelings and secret thoughts for pile number three? We have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out. Things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. And the dragonfly is hungry for that. Like this person feels hungry for clarity. But I just heard that meatloaf song. It's like, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. They won't do that right now. So they are, they are contemplating reaching out, but I feel like they're going to really be logical about their next step towards you. In a perfect world, it would be the divine feminine that just reaches out and does all the work, <laughs> but it's not the perfect world. We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, perception, focusing out. We have the page of swords, so they could still be keeping tabs on you as well. And they're definitely wearing masks. I feel like they wore a mask in the past, and now they're currently wearing masks in their relevant situations or in their current 3D situations. What their current feelings and secret thoughts? Please for pile number three. We have here the bond, a love bond that grows stronger over time. That came up in pile two as well. We have heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. And openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship. They have a lot that they still need to get off of their chest and they have a lot that they want to hear back from you. We have learned. Let love show you how to learn from each other. And they still want to, they're open to expressing how they feel. If they ever got the opportunity to, to express clarity towards you, I feel like they would take it. But I don't know that they would go seeking it in this moment right now. Because they're too worried about the consequences. And even here, as soon as I said that, I looked at the heart beats faster when you're close. Because there is this big wish and desire that's surrounding you with the Nine of Cups. It's like they hope for you, they wish upon you. But if they were to have that opportunity sitting right in front of them, I feel like their heart would pound out of their chest. But there's clarity again. So be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. They currently feeling please about pile number three. Goddess Ganesha, clearing away obstacles. It says protection and guidance. And there's an acknowledgement here that in the 3D situation, the reality is, is that there could be other people. There could be families. There could be children. And so there are obstacles, but they don't want to give up the hope that there's still hope or that there's still more. The Goddess Ganesha, she's an elephant. She's kind of bringing her, her trunk upward, which is a symbol of good luck. And she's holding on to this little... I'm not even sure what it is. She's holding on to this ball. It's like they're holding on to hope when it comes to you. I also feel like they're, they, someone prays about you. This person prays for you. The message, positive news, positive outcome. And that's exactly what we started with, with this dove of hope coming in. It's like they still have this hope that there's going to be further communication. There's going to be clarity between the two of you. And they don't want to let that go. What are their secret thoughts? Please, a pile number three. I can't even look at you right now. The five of swords. Conflict. So there could have been a conflict for someone who's watching. You could have had a conflict before the two of you disconnected. It could have just been an internalized conflict because it says, I still want you. I wanted you then. And I almost feel the five of swords. I can't even look at you right now is in reference to not seeing you at all. I can't actually see you. You make my heart full, but it says I'll be very selfish if I if I go forward to give you clarity with the Ten of Cups. It makes them feel selfish to want you too. They feel like they have a lot to be grateful for. It says I'm coming trust. It's the magician. Somebody who wants to manifest you or conjure you up. It's also a communication energy. It's like someone who wishes that they could have communication to clear out the cycle says, you already know how I feel, that I wish I had started a family with you. If there is a family in place, um, then there's a, a reference to us already knowing why we're hesitating or why there, isn't disc why there isn't contact at this moment. We have seek professional advice and I'm sorry. And when I see that, I think of counseling. I think about somebody who's gone to help, to gain some new fresh perspective. This could be legal counseling. This could be emotional counseling or some sort of medical counseling. Um, but they may have kind of touched on their connection with you in that sort of um, environment. Let's get some message cards here from your person's perspective. What are their current secret thoughts, please, when it comes to pile number three? Just going through the motions in life right now. It's like I'm just trying to make it through the day, not feeling all that satisfied with their choices. I feel like I've lost you forever. 
and I'm so frustrated with myself in this situation. My attraction is way more than physical, but they do sometimes just fantasize about the physical because it feels less emotionally draining. Are these feelings mutual? And do you do I think about you too much? So they feel a little bit obsessive over you. Back of the deck says, do you remember me? You make me come alive when I think about you. So they're not sure about the impression that they left you. But again, I feel like they left you a very, very strong impression as well. So let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. What was the very last thought that pile three's person had about them today? Pers Oops, we have four of cups. Well, we have four of them out, so we're going to take them. Four of wands, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles reversed. I feel like it's been years for someone watching uh, the two of you in disconnect here. And it's not that they feel hopeless. They know it's not a hopeless situation. They keep going back to that. This person's very logical. It's not that it's a hopeless situation. It's just a difficult situation, which requires careful handling, I feel. And so I don't, I don't think that they're going to put any effort towards the clarity, but I think if they were given some sort of opportunity, they wouldn't waste that opportunity um, because they don't know if the risk is worth the reward. See if I can get those to stand up. In the bowl today, we have the blue lips. We have the letters P and V. When I see V, I always think of the Hierophant and institutions like education and government, marriage. We have the Degas ruin, which is the Dawn ruin, somebody who wants clarity. We have the Lock, someone who's keeping secrets. And we have the Eight of Wands, or I'm sorry, the Six of Wands with the Five of Swords. So even though there's a lot of internal conflict, they're still feeling, they're putting these masks on and asking, acting really, really confident in their current realm. We have Special, and we have the Slow Handsaw with the, with the Leo Lion. Um, the Special's reversed because they perhaps never told you how special you are to them, and now they're really kicking themselves. It's like, I took too long. We have Blue Lips, somebody who hasn't seen you or kissed you in a while or never kissed you. We have here the triangle. I think of mountains or obstacles to overcome, but also triangles, th third party. So take that as it resonates. We also have find joy in the journey, which reminds me of temperance um, and longevity, having to have patience and recognizing that now is not the time to approach. And the slow hand, so I often think about slow separation um, or having to cut down a tree of life. All right, pile three, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates. I'm praying for you. If it did resonate with you, please drop your comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Um, you can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below. But I hope that you have a beautiful day, and I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage.